another day, another Lexar. This time it's pink. So uh, let's uh, get this going. This is for a local client. Uh, brought it in on Thursday. Uh, let's figure this one out. So as usual, uh, this is uh, gets opened up by a flathead screwdriver. And uh, there are two prongs that hold the uh, protective swing arm in place. Very easy, easily accessible just by wedging a screwdriver in between, grinding it open, and the clips pop off like that. Just one and two. Often enough, these come with uh, Alcor controller and uh, silicone motion controller. This uh, device was bent when it was plugged in, so I'm gonna aim for something in the area of uh, disconnected controller, um, broken pads on the PCB possibly, something along these lines. So this one is based on the Alcor, Alcor controller. Six nine nine eight AM. The beauty about this controller specifically is that uh, all of the headers are on the outside. Very easy to uh, test them and make sure that there's no damages there. So just zoom in. And with one of the tips from the tweezer, just kind of gonna go over these legs and probe them one by one to see if they got any movement. This divots here usually indicate the flex point. So if the device was to flex, this is gonna be the weakest point for it. It would go right across here. So the damage is suspected to be like somewhere around this area. If there is damage, obviously. I haven't plugged this in. Um, based on symptoms that I've been given, I prefer to uh, visually inspect it first before uh, I attempt to plug anything in. This looks really dark. This looks cooked also. Like, this device may actually be fine all, all on its own. Oh, look at that. How do we know if this leg is needed? Well, First of all, <laughs> you can see that there's a whole bunch of them here. They're not connected to anything, right? So they're not needed. But if they left out this one, it probably has some purpose. And this one also. So it's got two pads here. This pad is leading here, but this isn't connected anywhere. So that doesn't matter. That Whether it's connected or not, it's not making a massive difference. Unless the pad is connected to something underneath here. And by running the tip of the uh, uh, tweezer across. I can't tell, but looking at the different angle, I can tell that it is going somewhere else. You guys should be able to see that as well. So this is how you know whether the pad is important or not. It, is it leading to something or is it not leading to anything? It's right there and right there is totally separated. Do we have any separation here? No, we don't. It's fully attached. So this is going to be a super quick fix, uh, most likely by attaching those two and possibly these also, yep, and this one. So like this, this entire row took a stumble and got disconnected. So by reattaching these four pads, we're going to bring this back to life most likely. Just quickly double check this side. Connectors, interfaces fully attached. I don't think there's going to be any damage here. So this one is actually very lucky, very easy to do. So yeah, sometimes uh, repairs can be as easy as this. So let's uh, give it a test. So to test it, I am going to connect it to the extension cord here 
And this extension cord is controlled by Deep Spar USB stabilizer. Stay. You can see the LED in there. I'm gonna turn on the power on the device. And we can see that it's taking in 50 milliamps. And the LED is connected, right? So it lights up, but let's have a head over to the screen side. It says that this is a USB device generic it doesn't detect the capacity if we go into uh, the um, list of devices in our studio and just hit refresh you can see that none of these none of these belong to our flash drive power down the unit the light goes off I'm going to add a little bit of flux. Get four of these connected. Grab a tweezer, probe them. That's solid, that's solid, solid, and solid. Now we do the same. Would you please stay in place? There you go. To our menu power up you can see the light started to flicker and it goes out but this time but this time if we look carefully the vendor is shown as Lexar capacity is shown as 7.5 and by going over to this side of the screen and hitting uh, refresh we get a Lexar with the partition one and if we were to go into hex view, we can see that the data is there. And if we scroll through the device, we can see that it's all there. This was one of the easiest cases I've had in weeks. And hopefully this video can uh, help some of you guys to understand what the possible issue could be. Uh, if you bumped into your flash drive and it just comes up with a solid uh, LED, look for disconnections on the controller side as you could see uh, the power was still getting to the device most of the pins uh, connected to the controller were still hard and attached uh, but those four that let go made it impossible to transmit the data on and off of the unit and as soon as they got connected the unit was just brought back to life so sometimes the problem will be that easy uh, the, the trick is to be able to catch it on time and take care of it because uh, this is very very uh, straightforward stuff in some cases the board can break in some cases uh, more legs can snap in some cases pads that are on the board can get torn off and that makes the job a bit more difficult. But as you go, as, as you learn micro soldering techniques and other stuff, with the microscope, it's very manageable. Uh, my suggestion would be to start off with uh, good equipment, get a proper uh, soldering iron, get a good hot air station, get some good glass so you can see the object clearly. And all of this will just make your life much, much easier. Over at the shop, I got all my hackle set up. And the other day, I had to do a project using that stuff. And I, I couldn't believe the amount of difference that you experience when you're working with something like JVC and switching back to hackle. And when I was, at first, when I bought all my hackle equipment, I was so... Uh, excited because it was much much better step up from what I had before so 
the better your equipment is, definitely the easier the job is gonna be. So you gotta be ready for some cases they're gonna be challenging, you gotta be ready for some cases they're gonna be simple. Uh, we gotta like it with this one, but we'll see what the next job will bring. So if you guys uh, are interested in data recovery, uh, micro soldering and that kind of stuff, uh, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit like for the video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm here to answer you. Thank you, I'll see you next time.